But I just want to thank all the listeners, really. I just want to thank you. You know, this is this is why we're all here. This is, you know, why we want to do it is is for you guys. And um, you make it so much better. You make our shows better. You contribute every day and you provide us with sort of endless hilarity and and stories of your life. And also, I really appreciate this endless, ruthless opinion as well, <laughs> which we love to hear. Um, and you're all mad for it as well, as we were saying before, like you're so up for it. And I, I will always appreciate that, you know, it really was my childhood dream to work here. And um, you made that dream come true. Like you really, really did. And I just want to say something. I really hope it doesn't come across as patronizing <laughs> because I really don't, I, I don't mean it to do. But I, it was my childhood dream and I nearly talked myself out of it. And I nearly was like, oh, I, I can't do that. And I, I thought that wanting to work here was like, I remember saying like, it's, it's like going to go and be an astronaut. I want to go and be a footballer. And I remember my family being like, people are astronauts, people are footballers. So I just, it's a really bit of simple advice. And I just wanted to pass it on and just say that, you know, if you do have a dream, you know, don't talk yourself out of it. You know, d don't be scared of it. Don't think you don't deserve it. You know, because if I can do it, you can do it you know you can do anything you want so if you do have a dream i think it's important that you go for it <laughs> <laughs> um but listen i just wanted to as well say how much radio has meant to me and, and how as you were saying feel like i i love radio i really want to carry on doing radio whatever it will be i don't know yet um but growing up it was just a constant for me it was it was a window into the outside world and it was all the things that i loved conversation and and music and it still is and i think radio is is so powerful i always love having like a, a collective experience and a and uh, hearing a song together for the first time with you all and hearing your stories and everyone experiencing the same thing at once is is something that i really love it's such a I don't know, a simple human thing, but I just don't think it can be beaten. And I think in the past year and a half, we've felt that more than ever in that pandemic. I think we've been more open with you. You've been more open with us. And, you know, I felt like we were there for each other. So thank you seriously for honestly making my dream come true. And now I've got to play my final song on Radio 1. And um, it's a song I've never played on Radio 1. And it's a song that was out before I was even born and last night I was cycling home and I didn't know what to play it was between two songs I didn't have to do a silly song I was going to play Ariana Grande Thank You Next but I thought a little flippin and then as I was cycling home I'm not even kidding this song by the way is called This Must Be The Place and there was an I'm, this is a true story there was a neon sign in a window that said This Must Be The Place so I took that as a literal sign and this song, for me, I wanted a song that made me, you know, felt special to me, that was full of emotion, that was life affirming. And, and you know what? It, it makes me feel warm. It makes me feel welcomed. And most importantly, it just makes me feel. So that's why I wanted to play it. So thank you for listening. Thank you for being part of making my dream come true. I'm honestly, truly thankful. So thank you. Enjoy this. I'll see you around.